Hi, and uh, welcome to another fly tying session. Um, uh, today we're going to tie this uh, lipstick shrimp. It's a um, uh, pattern that, that I made for, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And uh, the thing about this fly is it uh, it is a quite small fly, small shrimp. and. Uh, it's made with uh, ice spear and um, I have some I use some uh, SDF dub white transparent and um, I also mix in a little bit of ice dub uh, UV pearl in in uh, in the dubbing um, and I got some uh, some shrimp ice that I made of uh, of um, but, um, yeah, uh, bug bond. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, I tie this one on uh, a size six hook. Uh, I use this Onu Kappa hook. It's a very nice hook, and um, especially in size six and four, I like this hook a lot. And um, and I use ice beer, and um, it's quite hard to find. Ice bear or, or buy it, but uh, if you if you got a, a small piece of ice bear, I can show you how to tie this fly. Uh, it's a very good pattern for this uh, for for, for uh, this fall or, or or late summer. It works very well, and it's weighted down with a little bit of uh, lead. I need some lead, and uh, I'm tying with this white thread. And um, yeah, uh, I, I can show you what I do with uh, with the ice bear. I, 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 if you can see here, I got the I have cut out from a small piece of ice bear. I have taken out all the long fibers here. Put it. Uh, they put this in a, in a bag. And I've um, taken out all the under fur. You know, the shorter fibers that are under the long fibers. <laughs> And in this one, I have made this. Uh, I made a dubbing of, out of this, uh, and uh, and I mixed in some ice dub uh, UV pearl. Okay, and this is um, this is the body I use for the body. Um, yeah, uh, or else it's uh, yeah. You just have to bear with me with this English. I'll, <laughs> I'll do the best I can. So yeah, let's start. Okay. Okay, and we'll. Put in a size six hook. You can also tie this in in size eight. Size six is a quite a nice size for this type of shrimp. So yeah, there we go. And I'll start with the white thread. I use uh, a, a six o. So tie down to the. Do you touch the the barb of the hook? Like that. And I'm gonna tie down so the thread is lined with the barb right there. And there you can make you can take three or four turns down and two or three turns up and down again. You make this small uh, what shall I say a uh, small ball or something with the tying thread, you see? And it takes some wide turns up. So the uh, thread is aligned with the hook point, like that. And we're gonna make this um, mouth part of the shrimp, and it's gonna this little ball is gonna make the fibers spread out. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, start with the ice bear. Okay, I'll try to explain in English. Okay. So here's my dubbing. And you can see it's uh, kind of the fibers are going everywhere. So. And I want to kind of, I want them to go the same direction. So what I do, I'll take out a small piece, a small, yeah, <laughs> of dubbing, and uh, just, just, you know, on the camera this fly looks quite uh, big, but if you can see here, it's a quite translucent and small shrimp. We have uh, that's uh, that's uh, very important when you use ice bear. And especially ice bear because when this hits the water, it uh, kind of 
<laughs> gets more volume if you say if I can say that uh, and uh, when I put this in front of the camera it kind of looks like a yeah you see you can see down here it looks very big but it, it's not it's not so big because of the lens of the camera kind of lose you uh, yeah so try to keep it translucent and uh, and don't overdo it okay so try to see how much I'm using and and, uh, and make it small nice and small and translucent okay so now you see this is a quite small fly so getting the lens is kind of tricking you okay so back to the dubbing so if you can see here it's it's not so much I take out from the dubbing and and, and and I'm using both my 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 fingers like that and I'm pulling those like this and I'm putting them up on each other and and by doing that a couple of times all the fibers will kind of align with each other you see So, and I make a nice dubbing loop that looks like a shrimp mouth, like that, and tie this one in, okay? Okay, and the length of this, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I want to kind of have the same length as the hook itself, a little bit longer or thereabouts. And uh, this is kind of the so let's say the tying point for the thread so so I'm going to do like that about there yeah where the ball is so I'm holding like that change hands and tie in and tie down and glide my fingers back and while I'm holding the fibers okay and I can steer them a little bit towards me because if you don't do that they will roll around like that so pull them a little bit towards you okay down to the little ball and pull the pull the thread a little bit there because you can see now there this is these are lifting up okay like that good and go back up again nice 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 and then we're gonna tie in the antennas and here I'm using the longest fibers as you can see here is nice set of ice bear fibers that I've collected in this bag okay and I'm just using oh yeah you can choose yourself but uh, not too much five six fibers not anymore so you can see this a small piece of ice bear you can make a lot of flies so pull out some antennas and you can choose yourself how many and how big and how long and you know yeah now I've taken out just five six something like that okay let's tie them in okay here we can see the antennas and uh, here I measure from the hook eye to the end of this part and I'm tying in it like that then you can see it's quite nice and long kind of if you want the shrimp fly to kind of you know if you have these long fibers here the fly will kind of sink very nice kind of slows down the fly a little bit so okay and all the way down there and I'm also taking a couple of turns behind there okay just lifting it and a couple of turns there and one under there like that boom you can see it lifts it up very nicely and you get your antennas okay don't overdo it it's very important not to overdo it go back to the hook point and we're gonna tie in the lipstick shrimp it's kind of yeah you know where you're gonna use your marker so I'll take out some um, SDF dub white transparent and the same thing here I'm just holding the dubbing pack with my fingers like that and pulling out the fibers like this and don't overdo it again <laughs> like that that is enough make a little ball out of it or should I say just kind of align the fibers and 
make it nice like that that's it not anymore I can show you up on the camera on the GoPro you can see you see it's a very little few fibers and we're back and this time again I don't wanna I just want it almost the same length as uh, you know the the mouth part we started with so there time in a couple of turns slide back and pull it a little bit to you make sure it's kind of sitting on the top yeah perfect and go back that's nice oh yeah looks good yeah looks good and then we can go in with the marker and lift up like that and just hold it for a few seconds one two that's it a little bit there a little bit there on the side there i like to kind of mark up the sides just roll it here like that okay and you have to uh, have to let it dry before before you kind of brush it up, so then we can cut away this one and then we'll make a dubbing loop quite big one and kind of yeah 10 centimeters or, yeah and tie it down to the point there with the barb and go back up to the hook point and make some wide wraps to move the thread okay and then we can I, I use this one this is a nice nice dubbing twister I made of a, a Chevrolet bolt for the wheel it's nice and heavy okay so now we're gonna make the final mouth part or the head of the shrimp that make this nice nice sh shape down here before we tie in the eyes and then I'm gonna use the um, dubbing again so here's the dubbing and I'm um, doing the same now I'm, I'm, I'm pulling out the fibers making sure it's not too much it's very important and I'm doing the same thing again I'm I'm pulling the fibers from each other like that and aligning them again like that now we can see you have a nice nice fibers are aligned and I'm gonna put this in the dubbing loop okay okay here we go let's put this in you can see it's not so much but it's very important that you you see you don't twist it like that just you have to pull them from each other and make a make them translucent it's very important you see if you can see yeah okay so this part is now half six centimeters or something perhaps five yeah five centimeters is the part now I'm having for this mouth part okay and it's very translucent and you can see the eye stub pearl there okay twist Oh, nice. I like this sh sh shrimp. Uh, I have made it uh, this shrimp in uh, in um, seal fur, also natural seal fur. I will make a, a video on it. Okay, twist, 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 and brush. It's uh, important to brush this so you get the long, nice fibers out. And then now you can see how translucent it is. It's almost nothing on it, okay? Yeah, and then we'll just palm it, making sure we're not dubbing over the mouth parts we're tied in, and pulling all the fibers back. And um, and here I'm taking touching turns, okay, close to the other one, and pull the fibers back, pull the fibers back, again, again. And when you tie this fly, sometimes you kind of learn how much you can put in your dubbing loop to stop by the 
now I'm just by the hook point and that's perfect okay so if you're all the way over here you you know okay I have I have put in too much okay and tie it off nice and tight and by now the 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 march mark, marker this one has dried so we can brush up the mouth part here okay so I'll just use my velcro and brush 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 and this is kind of this is quite important to get this nice thick part here and this is kind of this sets the profile of the fly this part here okay you see yep. and tie your thread all the way back to the point here as you see I'm almost aligned with the, with the hook point there so yeah and then we'll tie in some eyes and I made my UV UV shrimp eyes I like so much it's almost yeah, look at these ones Ooh. and I'm uh, I'll try to to make them go up like that not straight out but a little bit up and a little bit longer than the hook you see the hook there yeah a little bit longer okay tie them in and many different ways of tying shrimp I seen but I'll just do it quickly like that making sure they are sitting where you want in this case where I want them to sit and I want them to come kind of under and up okay I want to follow the profile of the shrimp so it kind of yeah oh there we go tight up and what I've done this in the last <laughs> times I've, I've made shrimps with this kind of ice I have used some super glue and I know many of you oh I have said so many times in Norwegian that I I, I, I I refuse to use super glue but in this case when you use so much time on the fly you want this ice to kind of stay there after a few fish so yeah super glue it won't fall off we can catch a couple of fish on it so yeah and I like to run my thread a couple of times over this before I do anything else okay and then we're gonna weight the fly down and I'm using lead wire and here you have to kind of you know adjust the fly the weight of the fly where you're gonna fish it okay and I it's very important that you you, you don't st um, press this one all the way up to the to the hook eye just leave a f four millimeters or something so you don't mess it up when you're gonna f finish off your fly okay I tie in yeah three sections I think that's enough uh, many people fish shrimp flies without weight and just so they kind of hover in the in the water all the way on the top almost so but I, I want to uh, weight this one down okay you can have some that are not weighted uh, and some that are weighted so there we go there's the weight and now I'm gonna make a dubbing loop again the same length about 10 centimeters a couple of turns tie it all the way down there and hook in your dubbing twister and we're gonna dub the underbody with the same dubbing okay that I've made from the under fur of the ice bear so I'm just pulling out and and many of you are having a hard time dubbing this but if you see I'm, I'm dubbing very very lightly if you put on too much uh, it, it's almost impossible to dub so just take your time and and dub a little bit at a time and uh, another trick is if you have your finger here 
and for every turn you do like that you you kind of push down you're helping the dubbing with your finger okay so you kind of like this push down push down and I'm kind of following the fibers around it kind of helps you to if you do this fast you see you can try that almost ready and I'm trying to make a thin a body as I can and I'm also trying to make it tapered you see very very thin just so I'm kind of covering the hook almost I want to make us a, 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 a small body and translucent uh, shrimp it's very important with this fly small small shrimp for for big sea trout <laughs> So yeah, and uh, I, I like to dub uh, two or three or four times on this part, even if, it, even if it takes a lot of time, I'd rather have a small, nice, small translucent shrimp than a big fat one, okay? So there's the under, uh, under, uh, under body, you can call it, and, and now we're gonna make the palmer in the dubbing loop, so we're gonna do the same as we did at the first time we'll just pull out the fibers we want and again I don't want to overdo it this is this is too much I'll show you up here yeah it's not too much perhaps it's just about what I need I, I don't want to overdo it um, I'm pulling like this you see aligning the fibers with my fingers and I'll have to yeah, that is enough for the palm of the body. I just want a few legs, you know, a little, yeah. So this goes in the dubbing loop. loop. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go, my friends. Let's try this to put this in the dubbing loop and push it all the way up. And I, and I use my fingers to kind of make this as translucent as possible. And again, I'm about five centimeters this dubbing loop now, or, or this part of, it's almost six if I measure from the bottom here. And up there, I'm almost at six centimeters. Then I have enough to palmer the, the body, okay? So twist it. If your twister wants to twist. Having a pro pro problem here now, okay. There we go, twist, twist, twist. And again, it's important to twist a little bit first, and then you can go in and kind of easy, carefully uh, use your brush and brush up the fibers. And you see, it's very translucent. It's almost no fibers. It's just a couple of here and a couple of there. And, uh, yeah, that, there. I think it's uh, where people kind of make their mistake, and and they and they don't brush enough, and they're putting in too much fiber so you can see the the dubbing loop is is very translucent okay it's almost nothing on it you can see and I'm, I'm I'm starting in the back not tying straight down I'm pulling a little bit forward and making a, a millimeter in there you see because if you take it back there you will tie down your shrimp eyes and everything so take a few uh, yeah cover up two wraps down here at the same spot and pull back the fibers and go forwards about three millimeters just a turn three millimeters a turn three millimeters a turn and then the last turn in the front okay you have to listen you have to listen that's that's not an english word listen <laughs> you have to kind of you know, when you tie fly, uh, every fly is kind of different when it comes to volume and materials and everything, and and, and you just have to see and, and kind of you know adjust as you go, okay? And I, like I did now, I take I took two there and I go one, two, three, and the rest in the front because you see how much materials that uh, are coming on the fly. So yeah, and I tied off the dubbing loop, easy snip it off and as you can see on the camera now this looks like a big volume fly because of the lens of the camera this kind of but if you see closer this is quite small and and thin and nice and translucent and, uh, and I'm not finished yet I'm gonna brush this up 
and I'm gonna pull out some of the fibers that are too long and everything so okay so fit finish I hope you can understand my English I've been practicing for this so <laughs> but yeah like that and I like the varnish after I have brushed the fly so we'll just brush it and I like to brush it like on the side a little bit pulling out some fibers in the bottom you can see in the nice long fibers there and, uh, and uh, I like to pull them down like that and here I like to kind of pull off the fibers in the front that are too long so I kind of make a tapered body like that and if there is one of two fibers that you think are like this one just pull it out if you don't want it there so but now ah, it's perfect this fly is just ooh. so I hope you can can um, get a hold of some iceberg it's almost impossible so, so that's why I've made lipstick shrimp in seals fur because seals fur is something I sell so this <laughs> I got enough of it so it's not a problem for me to even to make the fly in seal fur so ah nice you can see the shrimp eyes and everything so this is li lipstick shrimp and uh, I will show it on show you and I show it uh, off on the GoPro camera okay yeah and we can varnish now let's put on some varnish oh too much oh nice and of course this fly you can you can tie on some 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 shells some, 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 uh, yeah you can use some bug bun but I don't like that I like flies that are nice and and, and, and are pulsing in the water kind of gets me going so yeah okay let's finish this off yes okay there we go there's the lipstick shrimp as you can see this this fly is a, this is a small fly you see it's not so big and um, yeah I hope you can get some ice beer uh, I don't have that much I have what you see that is what I have and, and I, that's why I'll tie this one in, uh, in um, with seal fur because yeah, it's easier to get a hold of and the ice cream is quite expensive so. so yeah I hope you enjoy that one and I uh, hope you understand what I say but <laughs> if you don't you just have to ask me I'll try to help you out so yes lipstick shrimp good luck <laughs>